Welcome to the Lawyer's Think Tank. In the previous video of Advocacy Skills, I had given a brief information about advocacy. Sure. So now, in this video, we will be discussing about the skills in detail which are needed to develop advocacy skills, as I had promised this in the previous video. So let's start with that. It is said that advocacy is an art because it is a practical application of knowledge for achieving any particular goal. It is a practice that turns the words and knowledge into reality. It requires a skill of using learned knowledge, that is theoretical knowledge, which can be put into practical application. And it is also said to be an art because it needs various skills such as for mood activities to get a certain goal. It should be noted that a successful advocate involves mastering a whole host of abilities from public speaking to critical thinking. And it is unsurprising that it is highly sought after skill for lawyers. Job of a lawyer is a particularly skillful one since it requires extensive knowledge of laws and legal procedures and systems. As doctors are responsible for saving lives of people by operating on them, lawyers are responsible for defending the innocent and helping helping them get their rights. It is the lawyer who shows the judges the part of justice by presenting the case in a meticulous and truthful manner. So this is why advocacy is said to be an art. Now we are going to see the skills which are needed to develop advocacy skill in detail. We have discussed mooting, drafting and observing trial in the previous video. So in this video we are going to discuss further that is good communication skills, judgment analytical skills, research skills and creativity. Now first of all I will be telling you about good communication skills in brief as I have already made a detailed video about communication skills which includes LSRW that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. Now lawyer must be orally articulate, he should have a good written communication skills and he should be a very good listener. In order to argue Convincingly, in the courtroom, before juries and judges, good public speaking skills are also essential. These can be developed in mooting or general public speaking as we have discussed earlier. They must be also able to write clearly, precisely and concisely as they must produce a variety of legal documents. But it's not all about projection. To be able to analyze what clients tell them or follow complex testimony, a lawyer must have good listening skills also. If you wish to know about these four skills in detail, the link for the video is in description box. Now the next one is judgment. The ability to draw reasonable logic conclusions or assumption from limited information is essential as a lawyer. Deceivedness is also a part of judgment. Next is analytical skills. Now there are times where there will be more than one reasonable conclusion or more than one precedent applicable to resolving a situation. So a lawyer must therefore have the evaluative skills in order to choose which is most suitable. Next research skills. Being able to research quickly and effectively is essential to understanding your clients, their needs and to preparing legal strategies. It also requires absorbing and comprehending large amount of information, then distilling them down into something manageable and useful. And the last one is creativity. The best solution is not always the most obvious and in order to outmaneuver your challenger, it is often, to ne often necessary to think outside the box. Because creative thinking is a multi-dimensional concept and only if you get out of box solution, your results will be more and more creative and effective. So refer to the previous videos of advocacy and LSRW skills and then you will get all the detailed information about advocacy and the LSRW skills. If you want the soft copy of handwritten notes, please send an email to the email ID given in the description box. Thank you.